Hi, I'm Paul. I'm Kelly. I'm from Oldham in Lancashire, known these days as Manchester, and that's in the north of England. I'm from Ticehurst, East Sussex, from the south of England. And where did we meet? In the middle. We met in the middle. Now, when we met, we decided to buy ourselves our first tiny home. Well, it wasn't really our first tiny home. You see, when I was uh, but a teenager, I had an 18-foot GRP cruiser on the British England waterways, the canals, or as they say nowadays, the cut. Uh, I owned that narrow, but that little GRP cruiser for two, three, four years. So I was used to living in tiny spaces or visiting tiny spaces. We decided to live in one. So we bought ourselves a 22-foot caravan, our first tiny home, and we moved around England. Because of this, we had a lot of changing views. Hence our name, Our Changing Views. And Our Changing Views at the time, we saw... Cambridgeshire. We went to Lincolnshire, to Skegness. Somerset. We went to Minot in Somerset. And we even did, we did strawberry picking and a lot of casual work. This moved us around England until one day we decided to settle down. Ugh. But we can't complain. We bought ourselves a beautiful old... Uh, 250 years old. 250 year old cottage in Minehead. Never been renovated, only had uh, I think two lights in the building and one one outlet in the kitchen. So we renovated it. Keep that in mind. So we went through that cottage and we put wiring in. We re 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 rebuilt it from the floor up. Wiring, water, control systems, Electrics. central heating, we did everything and we did it ourselves, tiling, you name it, we did it. That was the second point of this whole journey and we settled but once we'd finished it, well, we kind of nomadic and the nomadic lifestyle set in again. So it was off again. Where did we go this time? Well it was a bit of a move. We went to Florida, USA. All the way to Florida, landing in Orlando, Lived in Orlando for a while before moving to Clearwater and then off to Apollo Beach. And don't take us wrong, we've loved it here. After all, we've been here quite a while. We arrived in 2006 and we were here until now, the present day, and we're still here now. It's now 2022. We've been here through the dreaded pandemic. All the goods, highs, lows, laughter and sadness, we've seen it all here. But now, once again... We've got that nomadic kind of blood flowing through us and it's time to change again. But we didn't know what we wanted to do and where we wanted to go. We thought of going back to England and decided that would probably be a best option. But we're in England and how? So let's look back at that again. Let's look at our experience. Uh, think canal boat, tiny home, renovation, put all these together. What do you get? We're going to buy ourselves a 57 foot narrowboat. A dream I always had as a, as a youth and we're going to go around... I thought I was never going to finish. So, let's put all that together again. Canal boat, tiny home, renovation, and what do you got? We're going to buy ourselves a 57 foot narrowboat. And we're going to live in that narrowboat, cruising the cut. You've seen plenty of these channels, but have you ever, ever wondered how they've done it? I know I have. I don't know how they fund it, how they got there, how they made the decisions they made, the right choices and the wrong choices. So this series of videos is going to take you from inception, through questions and answers we ask ourselves and discuss with you, down to the planning, uh, the moving, from here back to England and all the associated things that go along with that. Finding that narrowboat. Believe me, we've got experience. When you've lived on a, on, in a tiny home for so long, you know what works and what doesn't work. And we're hoping to pass that knowledge on to you. On top of that, we're then going to find and buy that narrowboat. We may buy a ready-made one. We may buy an old one and renovate it. Or we may just buy one and customise it. We've got a lot of ideas on new and modern twists for these narrowboats. I don't know why they're still living in them as though they're 50 to 100 years old. 
you can take an older property and make it very up to date as we did with our our cottage but we didn't do it garishly it was all incorporated in it kept the true essence of our home but give us all the modern toys and i think we did it rather well we did so we're going to go all the way through from start to finish and then we're going to give you week to week vlogs on us cruising cruising along the narrowboats on 57 57 foot, foot narrowboat narrow called Mythwitch after my after my brother Merlin and you will experience with us our changing views hope you join us bye now